I paid $20 and I got a 2-in-1 Windows 11 computer with a pen. Let's see how good it is. When it comes to the performance of this device, you get a processor Intel Celeron N4120 with 1.1 GHz and you get 6 GB of RAM. This device is called Hi10 XR and is made by Chewy. Now, when you look at this device, you know, it's just a simple tablet, right? You do get some bezels around here and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, it's a tablet and it's on Windows 11. So, how good it is? Well, you can do the basic stuff. So, if you don't want it as a laptop, comes with a keyboard, you plug that in and you'll be able to do all your laptop things and etc. And then when you don't want it as a laptop, you just take it out, you rotate it and you use it in portrait mode or you use it in landscape mode. Now, the best thing about this device that it actually supports a pen. So you can literally use it to draw or to sign some documents or to do other stuff with it that you want to do. Now, when it comes to performance on web, then you can do some performance in web. You can go, you can watch some uh, some articles, read them, watch a YouTube video. You won't have any problems. You will get from small lab when you when you start the YouTube video. But rather than that, the tablet is perfect. Now, when it comes to the, the camera on this device, the camera on that light is pretty bad. I mean, as you can see, I have a lot of lighting here in this room because I'm using one light over there and I have one light over there. And the quality of the video is is, is pretty bad. I'm not gonna like pretty bad, but at the end of the day, this device is used for a webcam, so you're not going to use this camera to make pictures or to make stuff like that. It's only going to be for video recording. Video recording is going to be more than enough for you. So the speakers they are not the best, but they are not the worst on this device. I'm going to play you a sample right now from my YouTube audio library, so you can have an idea. Just to make this easy, you do get two speakers, so you have one on the right one on the left here so yeah the speakers are not that bad it, it's not as loud so that's that's probably the only minus that you will get you won't get too loud of the speakers but then you can connect some headphones or bluetooth speaker and then you're fine the problem disappears now we do some benchmark on it and we have some numbers so now in cpuz you have 173.4 as a single core and 533.5 as a multi-core in geekbench we have 448 as a single core and 10083 as multiple cores in crystal disk mark which is something that can test the speed of the hard drive or in our case not the hard drive you have 300 megabytes in read and 98 megabytes in write which i i will say is pretty decent it's not the fastest one but it's pretty decent for what this tablet is made to be and finally in cinebench we have a score of 246 which i know is really small it's really bad but since Benchmark doesn't represent the actual use, we're going to actually test this tablet and we're going to see how it goes. In a scenario with games, I have two games I'm going to test. I'm going to test GTA San Andreas, the original version, and Asphalt 9 Legends, the Microsoft Store version. And we're going to start with GTA. GTA San Andreas, it will run, if you, if you max it to full HD, it won't be playable. You will get lag. But if you reduce it to 720p, you will be able to play GTA San Andreas with no lag, no performance issues you'll be able to run so all games will run perfectly on this computer depending on the resolution and the quality of the game you can reduce some of the specs and then you'll be able to play the game now when it comes to asphalt 9 legends it's a hit and miss so you can play the game you don't get any lag but you do have a small lag when you're actually controlling the car so for example i have like half a second turning left half a second turning right and sometimes the graphics doesn't load so it's low resolution and then it becomes high resolution so you will get some, some problems here and there but it will be perfect for what you want to do and stuff like that for for the simple let's let's have a play you know let's do some time this tablet is going to be perfect for you now when it comes to video editing for example which is another demanding thing you can do some basic video editing using CapCut. Now, how you know CapCut has now a desktop application, so you can actually use it and do some basic video editing. You can export it in 1080p, but it will take a very long time and I would not recommend it. But if you do a 10, uh, if you do a 720p, you'll be able to export it pretty fast. So I'll give you an example. I exported a video of five minutes in 720p and it took about almost 10 minutes to export it. In the same video, I exported in full HD and it literally took about 25 minutes to export it. 
So it depends on you, but using the effects from CapCat, using the green skin effect, using some small effects to go around your body and stuff like that, it will still work. So if you do have the patience to export the video, you'll be able to export for HD video with no problems and you'll be able to do your content, do video, uh, enjoy the tablet and stuff. Now, when it comes to battery life for this device, so the battery life on this one, I will get about three hours of, uh, of usage with this one. Three hours I'm talking about watching a video on YouTube, maybe listen to some music or browsing the internet and stuff like that. If we're going to talk about playing a game, uh, Asphalt 9, for example, in 20 minutes that I play the game, which we almost eat almost 15% of my battery. Now, keep in mind, this is a second-hand tablet, so I didn't pay full price for it. I got it from eBay. It might have a problem with the battery. The previous owner might not keep it in good shape. So if this is hit and miss. Don't take this with, with grain and salt. If you do need a tablet, but you're on the budget, I would fully recommend to search for the Chewy i10 XR and have a think about this tablet. Thank you very much for watching guys. I really appreciate you being here. If this is the first time, please like and subscribe to the video. It really helps me out. And I will see you guys in the next one.